<laughs> Hi guys, it's uh, Stephanie here, Tokyo Day 2. I'm sorry I did not add the vlog last night, I was just kind of absolutely dead. I, as you can see, if I filmed it, I met lots of friends, met a Swedish guy and his complicated ex-Indonesian something, boyfriend, fiance, I don't even know. And they took great pictures of me at the Tokyo Tower, which I'll insert right, right here somewhere um and yeah i just had a really long long day walked eight miles around tokyo and so far the city is very different than i thought it would be like it's very big very spread out very quiet the only thing that kind of matched what i figured was shibuya crossing but not all of it's like shibuya crossing but we're about to go see more of it today um the first thing i want to do this morning is the tokyo sky tree because i really want a view of the city with the tokyo tower in it um yeah i'm starving i'm gonna go eat and then we're gonna go Come with me, Tokyo Day 2. Hi guys, so I've had a very difficult time, so Tokyo's all behind me, so that's kind of cool. I'm at the Sky Tree, somewhere around the Sky Tree, heading towards it. It just took way too long in the metro to get here. Just everything here is so big and far away, and I did not expect Tokyo to be like that. Like, apparently, this is one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the world. Tokyo's side Sky Tree straight. Most things just, they don't speak English here. They really don't, and I'm just surprised at that. Sky Tree, straight. Oh, oh, see you at the top. Okay, we found you. We're going up you now, you bad boy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're here. We're ticketed. Finally. That was like an hour venture just to get here. Better be worth it. This is the biggest, this is the biggest city I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a city as big as Tokyo. Oh my god. Shit, look at that. So, wow, that's quality film there, Stephanie. You can't see it in the camera, but Tokyo Tower's over there. It's kind of cloudy. There's the river. The river. And the people down there playing sports you can't see. It's, this is massive. I've never seen anything like this. It's crazy. Oh Hi, guys. So, I'm in a garden. It's called Rakugan Garden here in Tokyo. Um, I've definitely been to a garden of the same name, probably definitely somewhere in Switzerland, I want to say Zurich, but it's very nice, I'm having my European moment right now, uh, just kind of writing and lying down and feeling the sun and taking my last siesta, which is very nice because Tokyo is just huge, so yeah, I'm taking a chill pill for a few minutes and I'll go hit up Bunkyo City Hall, I'm gonna eat, and Japanese really don't like me vlogging, you know, half the people they're wearing face masks. They're very respectful, very prideful. It's, this is um, definitely the most culture shock I've ever seen because Europe I'm so acclimated to and Australia, New Zealand, as my mom says, quote, is so Americanized. This is very different. But somehow I still don't feel like I'm like in Asia, far away. It's very weird. Yeah. The view we've got, it's pretty Asian-y with the tree and clouds. I'm, I'm sure in the spring that this is really pretty. And it goes in more. I have to pay like three US dollars to get it, but. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, see you later. Dude, do we have another photographer over there? <laughs> this is really pretty. I'm glad I came here. Did a good job. I would say this is worth the 300 yen to come in here. It just... <laughs> it's very Asia. <laughs> Look at the trees. And that lake. And it's sunny. It's cool, but it's sunny. And look at that little bridge over there really cool. Everything in Japan is heated. So apparently a couple years ago I wrote down Bankyo Civic Center in my phone and it was apparently very worth it because look at this. This is free. This is but this was better than the sky tree. So that's why I went up this morning. This is better. So I went up the sky tree this morning. This I think is much better. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's beautiful. Everything in Japan is heated. Everything. Oh my god, that's a picture. Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. It's hard to see. That's Tokyo Dome right there. It's really just a dome, nothing special. There's apparently some sort of epic roller coaster here and a Ferris wheel and more Starbucks crap that no American and I would hope likes to see when they're traveling abroad. And yeah. I stick it like a sore thumb here. Me and my Americanness and half Europeanness. Okay, we're gonna go get food now. <laughs> Some sort of carnival area. The store looks like an orange, but cute. Look at the cherry blossom. Hey, look, I'm here in January and I found my Japanese cherry blossom. So, a little change of plans. 
and the restaurant I went to is only open on Saturday. So I went to a 7-Eleven because apparently they're all over here in Tokyo. I'm sitting on a street, people watching whether they like it or not. The streets are clean enough, so it's fine. Got some veggie sticks, some tofu, and two salted rice balls. So my Asian Japanese feast here. Okay guys, so now I'm in Yoyogi Park. It seems to be comparable to Regent's Park in London. It's just a giant park. I'm looking for a shrine. Water, they have water like Europe out there. Okay, yep, just a big park. Looks like locals. Don't see that too many tours. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm at a shrine. Some two very nice ladies, one from Toronto, one who lives here, walked me here. So I found this shrine. Then I'm gonna go to Japan's little, little Europe, little Tokyo's, Tokyo's little Europe, which is something I can't pronounce, but yes, I got a shrine. We'll take a little stroll and then we'll go. So we're just taking a stroll here on the shrine. It's about to be kind of like golden hour. And it seems that this is the most touristy place I have found in all of Japan. Should be a crossing, couldn't really tell because it's just so crazy, but looks like that's the shrine over there. Then we'll go to Tokyo's Little Europe and we'll call it a day in Japan. That yeah, looks like there's some tours, food stuff there. Je ne sais pas. And we have a shrine of something. Barrels of sake wrapped in straw. Why? I don't know. Why I'm filming it? Because I'm in Japan and I can and I'm cool and that's why. And I'm going to not put my hand over the mic. Definitely feel like I'm in Asia right now. Yes, the music and all of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Moonwalking in Japan. Guys, I did good. I found the cutesy area of Tokyo. I'm about to explore and have my little vegan treats that I found. This is a really cute area. Look at this, it's so cute. These cute stores. It's like a, you know, trinkets and knickknacks and whatnot. Very cute. Who is it? Ooh. Yep. Jarrah's jewelry. It's really cute. Really cute. If I weren't on a budget, I would be buying that. That is hilarious. That is me. If it weren't 19 US sellers, I would be buying it. Oh my gosh, yes. It's so cute. Put on the stairs. Okay, I'm gonna put this away so I don't trip. Look at how cool this storage clothing set of it is. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be walking here, but it's so cute. Cute. Inside a giant uh, Japanese skincare beauty store, like, look, you wanna buy something, but also can't read most of the things, and I've pretty much hit my spending limit for the day, but it's very cool to see. Very cool. Karaoke. I have uh, these other ones. Look how cute. So I've ex explored this pretty extensively, but very cute. Gonna go down this side and then call it a night. Look how cute that is! Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey guys, I'm back in my hotel room now. I'm so tired. It's like 7 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna eat some leftover stuff. The leftover. I think I filmed it for you. Yeah, I did. I did. And I'm trying to find good lighting and it's not working well. I'm going to eat some leftover uh, tofu and veggies and salad stuff in my fridge and maybe have one of my little vegan cookie things that I bought. But um, yeah, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow. Organizing all of my stuff. Going to put things in bags. Maybe mark my suitcase with my Japan stuff that I've gotten. Um... Tokyo is very different than I thought it would be. You should go read my Instagram post if you want to know more about that. I'll link it right here. And, well, not the actual post, but my, my Instagram handle. And be sure to go check out my blog, DestinationDreamerDiaries.com, which I'll also link right here, where I will probably be writing a lot about Japan when I come back from it, obviously. But yeah, that's going to be it for my Tokyo vlogs, you guys. If you like these videos, make sure you give a thumbs up and you hit subscribe for more. And if you missed the last Tokyo vlog, be sure to click this way. Or this way if it's backwards i still don't know and uh the japan vlogs are still just getting started i'm still going all over japan tomorrow's mount fuji so if you like this video be sure to click on the next video for the mount fuji vlog i'll see you guys literally very soon and uh see you in mount fuji more japan vlogs to come bye guys subscribe <laughs>